So now I want to ask Mike, what are some simple and practical steps that we can take to maybe reactivate or cultivate our own creative habits? I'm glad you mentioned about that we're all creative because I believe that too. I think that most people, when they think of creativity, you're right, they think of you know, artists, painters, musicians, the obvious expressions of creativity. But somebody who knows how to organize something really well can approach that with a creative mind to know how to make things fit and flow. I don't have that skill, <laughs> right? <laughs> Else may be really creative when it comes to budgeting. And I don't mean illegally, right? But, you know, we all have these different abilities and talents and our creativity can be expressed in that way. Even the way that you make dinner, the way that you decorate your house, the way that you schedule things, creativity can come out in a myriad of different ways. And so when we're talking about business, even a lot of this is, creating products or creating services and creating content that goes along with that. Right. And so I've done that as well because it's not solely just my visual art, but I have other things that I offer. And so I've had to figure that part out um, more of the entrepreneurial journey. Right. And so the things that I discovered on my artistic journey actually do apply for any type of creation. And the three things I talk about mainly that I discovered from my own journey is the first thing is is start small. I think so many times we think we need to have hours and hours of time to be able to block out to create something. And when we don't have access to that, we end up doing nothing. And so we put off thinking next weekend or next month, I have this block of time and that's when I'll sit. But then the problem comes that we wait for that time and then we don't feel inspired in that time or there are other life events that happen or if we need certain supplies or things to gather to help us create something, we spend half our time trying to find things, set things up, all the rest of that. And then by the time we get to actually the creating time, we're wiped out. We have no energy left or no you know, motivation. So it's starting small and being consistent, right? So for me, I said 15 minutes a day, it doesn't seem like much, but 15 minutes deposited daily over time makes a big difference. We understand this when it comes to going to the gym, you know, or watching what we eat, those kind of things. We understand, yes, I can't just eat everything on this table right now and keep doing that because there are going to be effects and we will see those effects. But somehow, because creativity seems a little more ethereal and slippery, it's hard for us to think about it in the same terms. But the same applies where if we show up 15 minutes a day, make some deposits along the way, if that's all we can muster, then build up time as you can go. If it's a lunch hour, if it's time before anyone gets up in the morning or when everybody goes to bed at night, block out some times, right? And so that's the second thing is schedule it. Put it on your calendar so that you know you will show up. Treat it like an important appointment because especially early on when you're first trying to establish this, because what happens is, again, life happens, it gets in the way, motivation wanes, our intentions aren't enough for us to show up and actually put the work in. And so if we put it on the calendar, like we would an important uh, appointment, then we know it's there. I know where I'm going to show up for this. I know when I'm going to show up for it. And now all I have to do is actually show up and put the work in. And again, if it's a half hour, 15 minutes, an hour, whatever that time block is, just be committed to that. And then rinse and repeat the next day and so on and so forth. In the beginning, it's more about developing the habit than it is the actual quality of the work that you're doing. I found this especially true for my artwork. If I look back to that first year, there's a lot of stuff in there where I'm like, ooh, that's embarrassing. Like, I don't know that I want anybody to see that. Skill level took a while for it to ramp up. But there does come a certain point at which the habit that you're trying to establish starts to take hold. And then momentum starts to carry you so that showing up at that point, at that time at which you said you were going to show up isn't as much work. And then getting into your creative process doesn't take as much work because you're, you're doing it so often. And so a lot of the barriers and resistance starts to be worn down and then you start to put in the work. And then, as you know, you have to do a lot of bad work before you get to some good work. And so this gives you a process and a system to be able to employ, to be able to do that. And so if it's writing copy for a course or recording videos or blog posts, whatever it is that you want to accomplish for your business, the same principles apply. 
So it's start small, schedule it. And the third thing I talk about is celebrate your wins. And this is something that I have to constantly remind myself to do because I stink at this. I'm always looking towards that next thing, right? It's, I created this, this is great. Okay, do whatever I'm doing with it, but now on to the next thing. How can I grow more? How can I push the barrier more? How can, what's the next project? What's the next opportunity? And when you live like that too long, you rob yourself of the opportunity to celebrate where you've been and how far you've come. And for me, that meant practically, I'm going to create a collage of images that shows the entire year that I just completed, right? So I just finished 10 years, right? So the 10th year, I have an image that has every single piece of artwork all in one little collage. And so some of them are pretty small. And then what I do is I take that and I add it to all the years combined. And so I have one image, it's actually my Facebook cover profile thing. And it's these microscopic images, you can't even tell what they are, but it's because that's every single piece of artwork I've done over the past 10 years. And when I stop and I look at that, and then when I show that to people, they're like, oh my gosh, like that's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, that is crazy. Like I forgot, I forget in the moment you're just doing and doing and doing. And then again, if you don't stop and celebrate, you forget to celebrate your journey as well as what it is that you're actually trying to accomplish. Those are three things that I have employed throughout my whole daily art making process and have transferred that over into even my business ideas and things I'm trying to do in kind of more in the entrepreneurial realm as well. And if you like this video and this episode, please make sure you like, subscribe and share with others. So more crisis center leaders have the opportunity to consume this type of valuable content. Before I go, I just want to remind you that you can click on the screen to go to the next business growth videos and I will see you in the next episode.